Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to plan out fence posts. It's a really easy process and I'm going to walk you through it with step-by-step -step instructions. Let's get right to it. The first two things that you need are two numbers. You need the total number of feet between the first fence post and the last fence post. So we're just going to make some numbers up. Let's just imagine that there are 46 feet. So the total span is 46 feet. And then you need uh, another number, which is the, the number of feet between each fence post. So you want um, Basically, the majority of fence posts are going to be spaced a certain distance apart. Um, and I'm going to imagine that that is 8 feet. So I'm going to imagine that I, ideally, I want the fence posts to be 8 feet apart. The majority of the posts to be 8 feet apart. So you're going to divide the total number of feet by the distance between each post. So 46 divided by 8. 46 divided by 8 is going to be 5.75. Now, you take this number, uh, the first number here before the decimal, and you're going to add 2 to that number if there is a decimal, okay? If there is no decimal, if let's say that the answer was just 5, you're just going to add 1. But because it's 5.75, we're going to add 2 to the, the 5, to the first number, and I'll tell you why. Even though this is 0.75, of an eight foot span, we still need to put a post there. Okay, so that's why we add one of them. And then we need a post at the zero marking. So that's why we add two. So if there's a decimal um, after the number, you're gonna add two to this number. If there's no decimal, you're going to add one. And that is the number of posts that you need in total. So if we add two to the number five, that gives us seven. So we need seven posts, okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to draw the number of posts on a sheet of paper. This is post 1. We'll just draw the circles bigger. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right. Now, if you don't have a decimal um, in there, it's going to be an equal number of feet between each post. You can simply draw the equal number of feet. But if you have a decimal, then we need to make it look symmetrical, okay? And in most cases, you're going to have a decimal. It's very rare that you're going to have an exact number of feet with, with exact equal spacing. So, um, what you're going to do is you're going to discard the last two gaps. So, these are, these, each of these dots represent a post, and we are going to forget about the end gap. So this gap and this gap, we're going to forget about it. But we're going to draw a line in between the rest of them, okay? Each of these lines represents a distance between two posts, okay? And each of these is going to be that number right there, the ideal distance. So this is going to be 8, 8, 8, 8, okay? So what we have here is um, there's going to be 8 feet between each of these posts right here. And then we are going to space these posts equally, okay? So let's just figure out how many feet we've accounted for so far. We have 8, 16, 24, 32 feet. 32 feet. Now we need to figure out the remaining feet right here in these two gaps. So if we take the total number of feet, which is 46, and we subtract the number of feet that we have already accounted for, which is 32, that leaves us with 14 feet. So with these two gaps being combined together, we would have 14 feet. So we have two gaps and 14 feet remaining. We want to space these gaps equally. So we have to take the 14 feet and we have to divide it by two gaps. That gives us seven feet. And our answer is very simple. Each of these gaps is going to be seven feet each. If you take a look right there, if you add all these numbers together, seven, eight, 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 seven, it equals 46 feet, which is the total span. There are seven posts. Very, very simple. And as you can see, it looks very symmetrical. We have sevens on the end and eights in between. And that's basically it. Um, it's a very simple process. And if you take these steps and you use your own numbers um, in place of the numbers that I have used, um, then you can calculate your fence post spacing and you can basically um, plan out your fence posts. 
And that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you how to plan out fence posts and I have also shown you how to calculate fence post spacing. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.